macaroni and cheese is just about the best. Don't you, Silbert? Well, to tell you the truth, Cammy, I am an olive loaf man myself. Olive loaf? Very yucky indeed. How can you not like olive loaf? If you don't like olive loaf, what do you like? Oh, Fogel's my name, and PBJ is my game. Peanut butter and jelly better than olive loaf? Actually, give me a good stand to lick any day of the week. You know, it's okay to like different things. It's even okay to act different ways. As a matter of fact, it's okay just to be different. My eyes are brown. Mine are too. I've got a nose, and so do you. I've got fur, and I've got skin. I'm happy with the skin I'm in. We are different, but we're all the same in so many ways. We love to learn and sing together, run and laugh and play. My hair is brown. My fur is red. I have two hands. I have wings instead. We, we love, love to laugh. laugh. We love to play. We're different, but we're all the same. We're different, but we're all the same. Hey, Rosie, what for lunch? <gasps> we're gonna have what my Aunt Yola would call her specialty, mm. a sardine and pickle sandwich on rye with a crawla. Oh, uh, gee, Rosie, that sounds, well, uh, mm. different. I, I bet it would taste even better with a story from Johnson and Friends. You betcha. Hang on to your sardines. This is going to be a good one. Every spring, the sparrows built a nest in the tree just outside Michael's bedroom window. And every spring, the toys gathered on the windowsill to watch the sparrows lay eggs and watch the eggs hatch into baby chicks. Mm -hmm. The sparrows are back! I can't see them! If you climb up on the windowsill, you can. It's too high. Tell the birds to build their nest lower down so I can see them. We can't do that, Squeaky. But that's not fair. I want to see them. Careful, McDuff. Squeaky's going to throw one of her famous tantrums and scare the birds away. I want to see the birds. Oh, we'll have to play with her. Squeaky, do you want to play a game? Yes, please, but only if I can win. Oh, we'll let you win, Squeaky. Well, you better, or else there'll be trouble. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now we'll miss the birds building their nest. Yeah. Happy nest building, birds. I wish Squeaky would grow up. Hmm. And so Diesel and Macduff played games with Squeaky and let her win, like they always did. Good shot, Squeaky. Yeah, right. One million points to Squeaky and one point to Macduff and me. You win, Squeaky. Oh, so that means I'm the best. In the bedroom, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, you're the best, Squeaky. <laughs> yeah. She's the best pain in the neck in the bedroom. You're right there, McDuff, that's for sure. Well, my, my, my. Is that how they do it? Look, everyone. The sparrows have arrived. They're building their nest. We already know that, Johnson. And you missed it all? Squeaky made us play a game. Oh, and I bet she made you let her win. <laughs> she sure did. The trouble with Squeaky is, once you let her win, she never lets you forget it. And if you let her lose, she throws a tantrum. Well, she's still very young. I think it's about time she started growing up. Oh, she'll grow up one day. Meanwhile, if I were you two, I would just keep out of her way. <laughs> 
Although Johnson's words were very wise, Diesel and Macduff found it hard to keep out of Squeaky's way because she followed her? them everywhere. Hurry, Macduff! I can feel Squeaky squeaking around this room somewhere. I hope this breeze doesn't wreck the sparrow's nest. Oh, wow! What are the sparrows up to now? They've laid some eggs, Diesel. And one of the sparrows is sitting on them. Oh, great! When they hatch, there'll be baby birds outside our window. <laughs> oh, 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 blithering blazers! You silly robot! Aren't you ever going to grow up? <laughs> is Squeaky bothering you too, Alfred? Oh, well, since I'm a hot water bottle, she's taken it upon herself to water me. And consequently, I'm wringing wet and my baked bean sandwich mattress is all soggy. <laughs> oh, there's a strong breeze today. Oh. Lay it on the windowsill. It'll dry soon. Uh-oh. Oh, let me hang it out for you, Alfred. Oh, no! You stay away from me, you rampaging robot! Don't you touch my things! Oh, that's not fair! I just want to help! As Diesel had suggested, the wind dried the mattress in no time at all. But unfortunately, the tree outside the window was taking an awful beating. And so was the sparrow's nest. During one particularly violent gust of wind, the worst possible thing happened. The birds lost one of their eggs. Unfortunately, Squeaky was the first toy to find it. Oh, goody, a ball. I'll see how good it can bounce. No, Squeaky. Don't bounce that ball. Yes, Squeaky, that's an egg, not a ball. There's a baby bird inside. Wow, a baby bird? Uh, drop it in my flatbed. It will be safe there, and I'll put it somewhere warm where it can hatch. Oh, no, it's my egg, and I'll hatch it. But, Squeaky, you don't know how. If I can't keep it, I'll drop it. No, Squeaky. Oh, she will, too. You know Squeaky. But what will she do with it? I'll keep it warm and hatch it all by myself. Oh, that's Squeaky. Yeah. So Squeaky ventured off to keep the egg warm and try to hatch it. Macduff and Diesel kept careful watch from a very safe distance because Squeaky wouldn't let them anywhere near the egg. What's Squeaky up to, Macduff? I wish she'd let us see the egg up close before it's too late. Too late for what, Diesel? Oh, you know Squeaky. She'll lose interest soon and smash it. After all, that's what Squeaky's like. Oh. Huh. Hmm. But fortunately for the egg and the baby bird inside, this time Diesel was wrong. Squeaky look, didn't Johnson. smash the egg, and a few days later there was an unusual sound in the bedroom. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? What's that? Listen, everyone, the egg! It's hatched! Oh, wow. oh boy, Squeaky, you've hatched the baby bird. Congratulations! Yes, and it's hungry, Johnson. I'm going to the kitchen and get it some milk. But, Squeaky, oh. when can we see it? Later, when its wings grow. It's much too young and oh. frightened now. You know what? What? I think Squeaky's finally growing up. She's certainly caring for that baby bird. Hmm. I think you're right. Finally, the day arrived when Squeaky was prepared to show the toys her baby bird. Now, you have to be quiet and not frighten it. I've called it Birdie, and so can you. Here, Birdie, Birdie, Birdie. Night, Birdie. Come on, Birdie. But Birdie was nowhere to be seen. Well, the egg's here. It can't be far away. <laughs> oh, I hope I haven't lost it, Diesel. It must have flown away. Oh, no. Yeah. That's what baby birds do when they grow their wings. Yeah. It's flown away to join the other sparrows. But it's my baby bird. And you did the very best for it, Squeaky. You kept it warm. And you hatched it. You fed it, so it grew its wings. And it's flown away to be with its friends, all thanks to you. Oh, goodbye, Birdie. Have a nice life. Bye. Bye. And since you've been so good, Squeaky, Diesel and I will play a game with you. What? A game? Goody, you promise? Yeah, and we'll even let you win. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Did you hear that, McTuff? Maybe Squeaky is growing up after all. <laughs> Squeaky had grown up a lot, and she still managed to win the game. Ready? Woo! Come on, That's buddy. another one to you, Squeaky. Good shot, Squeaky. That's one point to me and two million Come points on, to you. Buddy. I'm the best again. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Diesel. I thought Squeaky told you not to let her win anymore. I didn't let her win. She did it all by herself. Oh. Squeaky's a winner at games after all. <laughs> hmm. After that, Squeaky lost interest in games for a while and preferred to stare out the window and wonder how her baby bird was getting along in the big world outside, where Squeaky might be someday. Okay, here it comes. Ready? Macduff loved it when it rained. She'd stand by the window for hours watching the raindrops fall from the sky and listen to them pitter-patter against the window pane, thinking curious, wonderful thoughts about the world outside Michael's bedroom. It's still raining, Johnson. Mm-hmm. I wish I could go outside and see the rain instead of staring at it through the window. Ooh. Hmm. I think you'll get your chance, McDuff, and huh? you won't even have to go outside. <gasps> oh, an indoor raindrop. There must be a leak in the roof. Wow. Well, what are we going to do with all this water, Johnson? If it keeps mm. dripping, we'll end up with a swimming pool. Let's see. What about Michael's beach bucket? We'll keep it in here. Then when it stops raining, we can give it back to the sky. The sky will probably be empty by then. Brilliant idea, McDuff. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Huh? Is there anybody there? Johnson? McDuff? Who could that be? Mm. Open the door. I need to talk to you. Oh, Johnson, there you are. This rain has got to stop. Don't you like the rain, Victoria? I love the rain, McDuff, but this is way too much. If it doesn't stop raining soon, there's going to be a flood. <gasps> oh, a flood? flood? Yeah, we had a flood in this house a couple of years ago. The water came inside. It ruined the carpet. Everyone had to leave the house until the flood was over. Oh, no. Oh. Do you think they'll have to leave the house this time? Mm-hmm. They're already packing. Mm. Michael and Melissa are only allowed to take one toy each. I thought I'd better warn you. Melissa's taking me. Oh, there she goes now. I gotta go. Good luck. See you, Victoria. Bye. Water in the hallway, up to the baseboard. We're all going to get wet. Yes, all of us, except whoever goes with Michael. But you're Michael's favorite toy, Johnson. You should go. No, that wouldn't be fair. We'll have to have an emergency meeting. Now, I think the fairest way of doing this is to draw straws. Oh. What? The toy who gets the shortest right. straw goes with Michael. Oh. Well, in that case, I'll have this one here. Oh, look. It's the short one. I get to go with Michael. <laughs> no, Alfred. We've oh. got to do this right. Give me that back. Oh, no. Oh, oh well, I'll have, um, I'll have uh, that one there, close to you. Uh, this one? Yes. Oh, mm. no. It's a long one. I have to stay here and get wet. Diesel? <laughs> uh, 
I'll have that one there. Right. This one? Yeah. And it's a long one. Oh, good. I stay here. I don't want to go out with Michael and leave my friends. Goody, goody, goody. My turn. And it's another long one. It looks like I stay, too. Right. Now, there are only two left. Whoever gets the short one goes. I hope you get the short straw, Squeaky. I hope so, too. I don't like water. It rusts my batteries. Squeaky, it's a long Aww. one. No. <laughs> too bad, Squeaky. Well, McDuff, you got the short straw. So it looks like you go with Michael. Oh. You better go out and wait in the hallway. All right, Johnson, if you say so. As Macduff glided off to the hallway, she wasn't sure whether to be glad or sad that she was missing out on the flood. <sighs> Especially when Johnson started one of his famous speeches. Okay, toys. We don't know whether this flood is going to happen or not. No. We can't look after the whole house. Oh, no. But this is Michael's bedroom and our yes. home. Here, here. We've never yes. let a flood in here before, and I don't see why we should now. Oh, no. We don't have sandbags, but we've got pillows and other things. Yes. Now, all of you, who wants to help fight the flood? Me, me. I'm with you, Johnson. And, and me, too. Sa. Good. Then find whatever you can and meet me by the door. Yes. Yes. Sa. Squeaky. Um, <laughs> This flood is really scary, isn't it? I think the short straw was really meant for you. No, I picked the long straw. Yes, but whoever goes with Michael has to look after him, and that's you. You're the strongest toy in the bedroom. I am? Besides, you won't be much help in this bedroom if your batteries get wet. <laughs> I think you should go with Michael, and I'll stay here. Please? Oh, thank you, McDuck. Oh. <laughs> So Macduff stayed behind to help save the bedroom. <sighs> As the storm continued, the toys built a wall of pillows and socks to keep the water out of the bedroom. Oh, I'm glad you stayed, Macduff. So am I. I couldn't leave my friends, Johnson. No. And I am a bit scared, but, well... Only a little bit. Mm, so am I. Now come on, Diesel. Back out. Further, further. Now don't dawdle. If I see another sandbag, I'm going to be sick. There. That's the last one. And look, it's as high as the baseboard now. Oh, good. No flood will ever get in. No. We're safe. Yes. I wouldn't say that, McDuff. Look, there's another drift. Oh, oh, no. And there's another one. Oh, no, here. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. It looks like the flood is coming from all directions. Oh. What we need is more buckets. Yes. Anything that will hold water. Oh. Yes. We're going to beat this flood even if it sneaks in. Yes. Oh, if only this rain would stop. Oh. seen so many drips. Hmm. No sign of the flood yet, Johnson. No. The hallway's still dry. The hallway might be dry, but Michael's bedroom won't be soon. Look, this bucket's almost full. Oh. We've got to empty the bucket. But where do we put the water? We could dump it in the hallway. But it might ruin the living room carpet. It might. I could drink it. Huh? Water is like mother's milk to me. How much can you take? Well, how much have you got? <laughs> the next morning, the rain stopped. Hmm. The sun came out, and the threatening flood was soon forgotten. Michael and his family are back. Oh, the flood must be over. And not a drop of water got into our bedroom. Yeah. We sure beat that flood, all right. <laughs> yeah. It just shows what you can do when you refuse to give up. I wish we'd saved a bit of that water, though. After all that work, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Look, 
Even my radiator's dry. <laughs> oh, no problem, Diesel. We've got all the water in this bedroom we'll ever need. What? Alfred drank it. <laughs> Could we have some of your water, please, Alfred? Sorry, Alfred. I didn't quite catch that. Could you please speak up a bit? That was fun, but now it's time to say bye bye It's great to spend the day together with all our clubhouse friends. Goodbye for now, but don't forget, soon we'll be together again. Hey, Toonsters, it's Babs Bunny. Join me and my buddies at Acme Lou for so much fun you'll laugh yourself silly. <laughs> it makes me laugh just thinking about it.